Hello and welcome everyone. Today we are discussing about acinic cell carcinoma. It is a rare tumor of salivary gland, approximately 1 to 3 percent of all salivary gland tumor. It is low grade indolent malignancy with median age of representation at around 50 years. It has high chances of recurrence after excision and metastasis to lung and cervical lymph nodes. The most common site of acinic cell carcinoma is parotid gland. The factor responsible for causation includes familial predisposition and previous radiation exposure. Clinical symptoms are painless swelling or lump over the parotid region. The radiology shows mostly non-specific features and these features overlap with benign tumors such as Vardins and pleomorphic adenoma. Tumor size, location and nature can be determined by USG. Cytology shows moderate to highly cellular lesions and the architectural variations include irregularly contoured, cohesive, flat cell sheets, thick three-dimension clusters, linear cords, focal acinar formation and papillary-like aggregates. Smear lack the lobular and grape-like cytoarchitectural arrangement seen in aspirates from the normal salivary gland tissue. The key to accurate cytological diagnosis of ACC lies in the recognition of neoplastic acinar cells with numerous bare nuclei in the background and complete absence of ductal epithelial cells. Now let's see the histopathology. Gross specimen has a well-defined margin with capsule. It can be solid or cystic structure. In microscopy, the most common pattern is serous acinar cell differentiation. Other patterns include acinar, intercalated ductal, vacuolated, clear cell, non-specific, glandular, solid, lobular, microcystic, papillary cystic and follicular growth patterns. It shows large tumor cell lobules or nest with minimal intervening stroma. The tumor grading has a four categories well defined, moderately defined, poorly differentiated and undifferentiated. The positive ISC stains are DOG1, SOX10 and PASS D. DOG1 and SOX stains are expressed in benign acinar cells and intercalated ductal cells and other salivary gland neoplasms. However, strong diffuse expression of this marker can help distinguish acinic cell carcinoma from other salivary gland neoplasms. Most cases are localized at the diagnosis and cured by surgical excision. The most important negative prognostic factor encountered are high histological grade, distant spread, age more than 50 years and tumor size more than 4 cm. The differential diagnosis of acinar cell carcinoma are clear cell carcinoma, mucoepidermoid carcinoma, Vardin's tumor and oncocytoma. Let's see the brief about molecular diagnosis. A recurrent translocation 49 q13 q31 was demonstrated in more than 90 percent of cases in acinic cell carcinoma a small subset of acinic cell carcinoma cases has an alternative fusion involving histatin 3 and mib htn3 and msant d3 so this is it short about acinic cell carcinoma. Hope you like it. Thank you. Bye. See you in the next video.